do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to study the interfacing of analog to digital and digital to analog converters with the 8051 microcontroller we will study the interfacing of digital to analog converter 0808 with the 8051 first we will study that what is a digital to analog converter then we will study the pin diagram and functional block diagram of DAC 0808 and then we will see that how it is interfaced with 8085 r microcontroller 8051 Then we will study the interfacing of analog to digital converter 0809 with the 8051 microcontroller. So let's start with our topic. we know that most of the physical quantities like temperature displacement pressure all these are in present in the analog form whenever we measure these physical quantities then these quantities will be measured in the form of analog signal okay but when this analog signal is being processed or it is being transmitted or stored it becomes very complicated so this analog signal is converted into a digital signal and then the signal will be transmitted or stored okay so for this analog to digital conversion we require some devices which are called the analog to digital converters similarly the digital signal because we again want to have our analog form of the signal so again that digital signal is converted into its analog form with the help of the devices called the digital to analog converters so adc it convert analog signal into digital signal and dac it convert digital signal to analog signal okay so both these adc and dac they are called the data converters because they are converting the data from one form to another form okay so a to d conversion is also necessary because most of the like microcontrollers and microprocessors they process the digital data okay so analog to digital conversion is also necessary also in the physical world we know that in the physical quantities they are present in the form of an analog signal so again digital to analog signal conversion is also important so both the adc and dac converters they are very important and they are available in various ic forms if we see the basic circuit which is involved behind this a to d and d to a conversion then
So the analog signal can be converted into digital signal. First, we will pass it through a filter, anti-aliasing filter, so that the aliasing uh, phenomena should not occur in the while we are doing the sampling. Okay, so anti-aliasing filter is there. After that, sample and hold circuit, then quantizer and encoder, so that analog signal is converted into a digital signal. It is encoded into a, a digital code. Okay, and then that code is given to the digital signal processing unit now from this digital signal processing unit we are getting a digital signal here we will have the digital signal this digital signal is then decoded with the help of decoder then reconstruction filter with the help of that uh, uh, code again the analog signal is reconstructed and the output is then analog output when we are doing the conversion from analog signal to digital signal how we convert it suppose that this is an analog signal okay we want to convert into digital signal so we will do sampling at some instances like here we are doing it sampling and after some regular instances we are taking the value of the signal so when we convert it into digital form it will be like in this way the signal is converted into digital form this is analog signal sampling is done at some instances and it is converted into digital now to convert it again into analog form we will reconstruct the signal we will join these digital code and then we will form our analog signal okay so here in this circuit also we are having first the filter then sample and hold circuit quantizer and encoder that is converting analog signal into digital then this digital signal is decoded and then reconstruction filter which is going to reconstruct the analog signal from the digital signal okay so that is the basic analog to digital and digital to analog conversion that is done so let us first study the digital to analog converter because as I have said that these converters they are present in the form of ICs okay. So here we will study the digital to analog converter 0808. This is an 8-bit current output monolithic digital to analog converter. This is manufactured by national semiconductors. National Semiconductors Cooperation Now this digital to analog converter it is also present in the IC form so it is a 16 pin IC which is available in dual inline plastic package okay in the DIP package it is a 16 pin IC as I've said here that it is an 8-bit current output monolithic DAC so it will be having the eight input lines which is the digital input okay so 8-bit digital input is there and 
there is a single output which is in the form of current okay so there will be an analog output signal which will be an current signal okay and input is an 8 bit digital input so this is a 16 pin ic so first of all let's see that what is the pin diagram or pin configuration of this dac So if we see it's the pin for the DA, uh, this is the IC for DAC 0808. There are 16 pins you can see. Now each pin will have some specific function. So pin number one, this is not connected. That is NC. It is left for some future use. Then second, it is grounded GND. Okay. Then third is VEE. Fourth the analog output as i said that the output is in the form of a current so it is analog output i not then 5 6 7 8 these are the a1 a2 a3 and a4 the digital input okay then 9 is this a5 a6 a7 and a8 because there are eight input lines so we have given this as a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 okay now a1 it will be the most significant bit and a8 it will act as the least significant bit okay then pin number 13 it is vcc then v reference positive v reference negative there is a reference external signal and the external signal can have positive or negative polarity so if the reference external signal is positive it will be connected here if it is negative then it will be connected here then 16 it is for the compensation so this is the pin diagram of the 0808 digital to analog converter you can see we will have the uh, eight digital input lines and one analog output line rest are the vcc ve these are the power supplies connection ground is there this is the reference external signal and 16 is for compensation one is not connected now if we see the functional block diagram of this uh, digital to analog converter then it will consist of because there are eight digital input lines so there are current switches present in it these current switches will have the eight input lines where a1 a2 a3 Next, after these current switches, we are having an R to R ladder. Okay. Also, there is a reference current amplifier so this reference current amplifier it is going to provide the reference external reference signal as i have said this is v reference positive this is v reference negative
Bruce. Fail. Here we will have a bias circuit in this also, which is for the biasing of these NPN. So this is the functional block diagram. You can see that in this diagram, it consists of the R to R ladder current switches are there to which the analog, uh, the digital inputs are connected. This is our analog output, which is generated. Then we are having a reference. Current amplifier to which the reference external signal is connected and then we have the NPN current source pair. So this was the digital to analog converter IC0808. We have seen its pin diagram also and its functional block diagram also. We have seen the various components present in this IC and how the digital signal is converted into the analog signal. That is performed with the help of this R to R ladder and the reference current amplifier and this circuit. Okay, that how this digital input is converted into the analog output. Now next, let's see the analog to digital converters. Here we will study the IC0809. Now this uh, ADC0809, it is also an 8-bit ADC which is manufactured by the National Semiconductors Cooperation. It is also a 16 pin IC and this is going to convert the analog signal into the digital signal. So the conversion of this analog to digital signal, it is accomplished by this ADC. It operates on successive approximation technique of A to D conversion. So it is going to use the method of successive approximation for the conversion of analog signal to digital signal. Here we will have the 8 analog inputs. Okay. Now to convert the analog input into the digital signal, so we will have the 8 digital outputs also. Now eight analog inputs are present so it means that we can convert the eight analog inputs into the eight digital outputs but only one analog input will be converted into the digital output at a time only one will be converted. So here we will use a multiplexer. This multiplexer is going to select the one analog input signal out of the eight analog input signals available. So there will be eight analog input channels. Out of those channels only one channel will be selected and that will be converted into eight digital outputs. Okay. 
so as i have said that this ic uh, this a to d converter it is a 20 pin 8 pin ic okay so let's see its pin diagram So these are the 28 pins, okay? And this is the A to D converter 0809. Now, if we see each pin is assigned some function. So pin number one, it is IN3, IN4, IN5, IN6, and IN7. These are IN2, IN1, IN0. So these are the eight analog inputs. Now, as I have said that there are eight analog inputs will be given and there are eight channels present. Okay, so at a time only one channel will be selected by the multiplexer and that in analog input will be converted into digital. Now, out of those eight, one is to be selected. So, three address lines are required. A, B and C these address lines the combination of these addresses is going to select the eight channels okay out of those eight channels one channel will be selected by the multiplexer and that analog input signal will be converted into the digital signal so digital output here sixth is the start then eoc that is end of conversion then two to the power minus 5 this is output enable then clock vcc v reference positive then ground and 2 raised to the power minus 7 minus 6 this is v reference negative here 2 minus 8 then 2 raised to the minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And this is address latch enable ALE. So these 2 raised to the power minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 8. These are what? These are the digital output. 2 raised to the power minus 8 will act as LSB. 2 raised to the power minus 1 will act as the MSB. This is address latch enable to enable these addresses output enable clock VCC V reference positive negative depending upon the polarity ground and VCC for the power supply clock signal is there EOC means that end of conversion means the analog con uh, signal is being converted into digital signal start is to start the conversion process okay ABC is for selecting the addresses and these are the eight analog inputs now how these addresses will define that which of the analog inputs will be selected Now these are three, so they will have eight combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1. According to that, the eight analog channels will be selected.
suppose that we are having at the uh, at the abc if we are having 0 1 1 then in 3 will be selected that analog signal will be converted into the digital signal okay so this is how the adc that is 0809 is going to convert the analog signal into the digital signal as i said that it will use the successive approximation type of technique so if we see its functional block diagram so if it's functional blocks will consist of an address, latch, an encoder, we are having from IN0 to IN7. Out of that only one will be selected. This address latch and encoder is providing the addresses to this. Here A, B, C and ALE is there. After that here we will have a comparator. So this comparator is going to give the output to the successive approximation register SAR. The SAR will give its output to the switch tree. Switch tree is again going to give the input to the comparator. Now this SAR will need some control and timing signals. Comparator will also require so that will be provided by the control and timing circuit. This control and timing circuit will also provide because the SAR it is providing output to switch tree also and to a tri-state output latch. This latch is going to produce the digital output. from 2 raised to the power minus 1 to 2 raised to the power minus 8 okay also this switch tree it is connected with the 256 r resistor because there are 8 bits so 8 to the power 8 2 raised to the power 8 we will have 256 resistors here okay now these resistors they are connected with the v reference positive and negative then we are having the VCC and ground here with the com control in timing we are providing the start and the end of conversion EOC signal also here from tri-state output latch we are connecting the output enable that whenever this line is high then the output will be available to us. Okay. So this is the functional block diagram of the A to D converter. The SAR is doing the conversion of the analog signal from the to the digital signal. Multiplexer is used to select the eight channels. Out of that, one channel is selected and given to the comparator. Comparator compare it with the reference signals and then the successive approximation resistor will do the conversion. Okay. So these are the two converters, the A to D and the D to A converter. We studied the D to A converter 0808 and the A to D converter 0809. Now how these two converters are interfaced with the 8051 microcontroller, let's see.
This is our 8051. This is the A2D converter 0809. And this is the D2A converter 0808. Now when this 8051 is interfaced with the A2D converter, so A2D converter is going to get the analog input. So these are the eight analog input channels. Out of that only one channel will be selected and that analog signal will be converted into digital. So here we will have digital output. This is the port 1 of 8051 which is used as the input port, okay. This is getting the digital input from the A to D converter. Now we know that this A to D converter, it will also require the start pulse that it has to do the conversion of analog to the digital signal. So that start pulse is given by the microcontroller. Also, which of the analog input channel is to be selected? So address is also provided by the 8051. That is A, B and C. Then the end of conversion that it has done the conversion and now the digital signal can be given to the microcontroller that is provided by the analog to digital converter. So here from this EOC we will get an output signal which is given to the microcontroller that conversion has been done and that is provided as the fourth pin of port 2. Because the port 2 it can act as the input port also and as the output port also. So here we are given the output lines and this is the input line. After that here we will need the clock signal also and ALE signal also. We have seen in the block diagram of the ADC and in the pin diagram also that we are having a clock pin also and the address latch enable pin also. So ALE and clock they are being decided by the 1 megahertz oscillator. Okay. So these are the connections for the ADC. The remaining power supply connections will be as it is like V reference and uh, the VCC and ground. Okay. So you can connect them at the remaining places. The rest of the connections which are being made with the microcontroller we have shown here in the diagram. Now comes the digital to analog converter. Now here the digital output will be uh, input will be provided by the microcontroller to the DAC and DAC will give the analog signal because 8051 it does not produces the analog signal it gets the digital input and it provides the digital output okay so digital input it is getting from here now it will provide the digital output to the DAC so from here Here we will use the port 0. Okay. So pins uh, of uh, port 0 from 0 to 7 they will be used and they will act as the digital input. 
Now this will be converted into the output. So here we are having the analog output current I0. Okay. Then the remaining connections like VCC, ground and V reference, positive, negative. They will remain as it is what they were in the block diagram or in the pin diagram. Okay. Just only the connections will be made with this. Okay. Then there are nothing other signals which are to be given by the 8051 to the digital to analog converter. Only the analog to digital converter it will require the start and the ABC and these signals to be provided by the 8051. So here in this video, we have studied the interfacing of the A2D and the D2A converter 0808 and 0809, how they are connected with the 8051 microcontroller, how the signals are being connected and how they convert the signals from one form to the another form. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.